Did you know that humans are constantly shedding their skin? Every few hours, days, weeks, and even years, we shed ounces and ounces of skin. Dead skin just falls right off of us in the form of flakes. They are so small that you don't notice them on a regular basis, but it's happening moment to moment. Kind of gross, right? As with our skin, we humans also shed energy. The energy of our thoughts, feelings, and experiences. That energy released slowly over the course of years or instantly in a moment of tragedy can imprint that space and any items around it with its unique signal. That energy saturates all of the things around its release point, linking it to circumstances that caused it. Like with footprints in the sand, an energy imprint can remain for days, weeks, and even years to come. Many of the hauntings we hear of may actually not be hauntings at all. They may simply be experiences with energy imprints. Here's a really great example of this. When my grandfather passed away, my step-grandmother kept talking about the strange phenomenon happening in the house afterwards. She mentioned hearing footsteps going back and forth across the hallway every night around 3 a.m. She believed it to be my grandfather's spirit trying to let her know he was around. She thought this was the cause of these sounds. I don't believe this was my grandfather at all. I have no doubt that his spirit energy was with her, but what she was experiencing in that moment was the energy left behind by an energy imprint. You see, my grandfather would get up every night around 3 a.m. to use the bathroom. It was the same routine every single night. He would get up, shuffle his way to the facilities, do his business, then shuffle his way back. The consistency of his actions, thoughts, and feelings during the activity over the course of a lifetime created an energy imprint. When you apply pressure regularly to a spot on the couch, over time it forms a dip. The impression of the sitter is gradually left behind. Even after my grandfather was departed, that energy resided there and continued to play out as if he were there still physically acting in the same manner. The continuous effort applied over his many years formed an imprint. Here's another such example of when an imprint can form with the traumatic and intense human experiences. On November 22, 1978, Patricia Newfield was at home in her suburban community babysitting when she was brutally attacked and murdered by an unknown assailant. She lay in a pool of blood and was found hours later by her young son as he came home from school. Years later, a skilled psychic detective and a professional medium did a walkthrough of the property for an episode of a TV series called Sensing Murder. As they walked through the property, their psychic senses led them to the scene of the crime, and they were able to pick up on various specific details regarding the case. Their visit was 28 years later, and yet they were able to access so many crucial pieces of information. Why? The reason for this is because of the energy imprints left behind. This is why when people email me and are freaking out because they think they have a haunting, I can remain relatively calm. They could just be experiencing a few energy imprints from past events, and it's been such a shock to their sense of normalcy that they quickly throw it into the scary ghost pile. I once knew a family who had various forms of paranormal activity in their home. When I was doing my investigation, I knew that there were several different events occurring simultaneously that had created a kind of energy mashup or poltergeist in their dwelling, and we will talk more about poltergeist later. One of the occurrences seemed to start up when they found a rug in the attic. They brought it down, unrolled it, and thought nothing of it. Shortly after, things began to go bump in the night, and they began hearing shouting and screaming coming from the living room. It turns out that before they lived in this property, another couple occupied the space. The former lovers were regularly getting into screaming matches and fights. So much so that police officers were routinely called out on various occasions to settle the brawls. This rug by association had soaked up years of fighting and screaming from the former occupants who had lived there. It was such an intense energy that the moment they brought that rug back into the space it once occupied, like a key, it began to trigger the same energy that had once been there continuously. One of the best ways to clear out some of these kinds of energy imprints is by using the practice of smudging with desert sage. This is an old Native American technique for clearing energy from places, objects, and people.
It acts like energetic Lysol to help remove the grime that's collected over the history of the location or items. After all, items can also become imprinted with energy and carry it with them. Smudging really helped me with the situation and the haunted rug. I'll speak more about various energy cleansing techniques in a later section, but suffice it to say, many of the experiences people have where they believe they are haunted just happen to be energy imprints left behind by former occupants.